So for this chapter, we're going to build an HTML5 uh, image gallery. And it's actually an animated image gallery in that it uses the jQuery quicksand plugin. All right, so what that allows us to do is we have this nav bar here. And if we click on a category, you can see that it changes. It shows you the images in that category, but it does a nice little animation uh, when you click on it. And you can see they ju they just um, it's basically a filter. Um, the quicksand plugin, what it does is it takes your unordered list. Okay, so we have an unordered list with images in it, and it adds all your images to an array, and then it creates its own unordered list based on the filters. All right, and we're also going to use uh, what's called the Fancy Box plugin. Uh, well, it's not really a plugin; it's just kind of a uh, program that allows you to use light boxes. All right, so when you click on an image, it'll pop up. You'll have a, a, a faded out background with an, an X out button, and we can see that here. If I click on one of these, we get this pop up, and we also get these arrows if we want to just scroll through the the images, which is really nice. And these uh, these images that I'm using are actually this size. If you want, you could use larger images and just restrict the size on the thumbnail so that when they click on the thumbnail a big image would show. Alright so that's basically what we'll be doing. Uh, it's not too hard. I thought it was a good project for the second chapter. Um, or sorry the third chapter, second project. Um, so let's get going. So the first thing I want to do is create a new folder. And I'm actually going to change the name of this animated gallery to finished. And then we'll create our own new folder. And let's just take a quick look at the quicksand plugin. Uh, basically allows us to, what I just said, have an unordered list. And we can add our filters or our categories. And you can see up here, if we click on these filter by types, click on applications you can see it does the same thing alright so it's very easy to implement um, but the first thing we're going to do is get all our files and folders straightened out and then we will um, create our, our basic index HTML file and then we'll implement the plugins alright so in here let's create I'm not going to use the boilerplate uh, I, I I thought maybe we could take a break from that and just um, build our own, not really a framework, but, but create our own folders. All right, so I'm going to create a CSS folder, an images folder, a JavaScript folder, and of course we need our index page. All right, I think I put a comma there. All right, so in the JavaScript folder, uh, I'm gonna create a, a subfolder called Fancy Box because we have quite a few JavaScript files for the Fancy Box um, library or, or plugin, and I just wanna put them all in their own folder. And I wanna do the same with the CSS. It also comes with a couple CSS um, files. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna open up Notepad++ and navigate to that uh, desktop directory, animated gallery. All right, so as our index page, CSS, let's create a new file and we'll save this as styles.css. Might as well open that up as well. And then in the JavaScript folder, we're going to create a file called script.js. All right, so these are our main files. And before we move on, I just want to um, bring over those images. So from the finished, and you should have all these files in your program files. Um, Oh, Fancy Box also has its own set of images for the for the arrows and, and things like that. So I'm just going to grab all of this and copy it over to our 
folder. All right, so there's our images. Uh, now what I want to do is build our index document. So I'm going to go ahead and paste uh, pretty much the, the HTML shell. All right, so it's just our doc type, HTML tags, head tags, title tag, and body tags. All right, so let's start with linking to the CSS files uh, that we already have, which is just the uh, styles.css. So let's go ahead and link that. Oh, don't want uppercase. Style sheet, and that's going to be in the CSS folder and styles.css. Alright, let me just put a comment there. Okay, um, so that's the only file, CSS file we have right now, so let's just let's do that for now. And then inside the body tags, let's create a header. This is an extremely simple design. It's basically just the gallery, we don't really have any um, anything else. So the header, uh, let's go ahead and look at what we got. So the header is actually going to um, contain the navigation, but this navigation uh, is, is actually generated by the quicksand plugin. All right, so we don't actually create these links, uh, at least through HTML. So what we're gonna do is just create an empty nav bar, uh, but first I wanna add a, a container we're going to do the same thing. If we want things uh, restricted in the middle like this and not go across the whole page, then we need to add our container. And if you've used uh, Twitter Bootstrap before, then this should be very familiar to you. Okay, container. Okay, and then inside of here, we're going to have our nav. So, nav, and we'll just call it nav bar. Again, like Twitter Bootstrap. And we're not going to put anything in here. It's going to be generated through the Quicksand plugin, through, through jQuery. All right, so under the header, we're going to have a section, and we'll give it an ID of main. Okay, now this is basically going to be our, our main content, uh, so I'm going to include the container again. Alright, and in that container we're going to have our unordered list, and we're going to give that an ID of gallery. All right, and then in here we're going to have our li tags, and um, we're going to have our images, our image. So image src will equal something. Um, all right, so that's good. Now the way that uh, for instance, the way we want to put an image, let's say we want to put this image here inside, we want this to come up in print design and web design. What we need to do is include uh, a data tag. All right, so in your list item, we're going to say data tags. All right, so tags because it's plural, we can add it, we can put it in more than one category or one tag. And let's say uh, logo design and print design all right so this is how we can get this image to show up in in these two categories all right so pretty pretty easy to do um, as far as the image let's point to the image folder and then I believe they're just labeled 1 through 23 or something like that um, so that should work let's see if this image shows up. Alright, so there's our image. 
Um, so basically, so basically, uh, we have about 23 images, and what we're going to do is just have to have a bunch of list items here. Now, uh, if you're if you if you're building this as a production app, then you'd probably want to have some kind of server side management. Uh, where you can actually go in, log in, and upload your images and all that. Uh, but but like the blog that we built, this is the front end because we're focusing on HTML5. All right. So what we need to do is basically just copy this and make about 23 of them, I believe it was. All right. I wasn't counting, but so all we need to do is just change change these numbers here what do we get 10 11 12 13 16 18 19 20 wow look at that I didn't even count on oh, one off Okay, 23. Now, right now they're all going to show up in the same two categories, so we're going to want to change this up a little bit. Uh, let's just change some of these. We'll say web design and logo design. Um, this can—they don't have to have two. Or we can have one, or we can have more than two. We can have as many as we want really design um, so is, are those the only three categories yeah all right so you should have the the files uh, uh, in your program files folder if you don't want to do this just uh, copy it paste it just trying to kind of randomize this Whoop. web design Design. All right. Well, well, this is this is fine, I guess. All right. Good enough. Uh, oh, yeah. Just make sure you have all your quotes and stuff. Um, let's make a couple more with all three. Web design, print design logo design all right so we have our images let's go ahead and save this and make sure that they're displaying all right so it doesn't look too good but the they are showing up all right so we're also gonna have a footer so after Actually, we're going to stay in the container. Let's just do that. And then under the unordered list, actually, let's not stay in the container. Let's put uh, a horizontal rule tag just to separate the footer. And then we'll have our footer tags. Now, I know that there's not going to be any other footers on this site, so I don't have to put an ID on it. Uh, but we will put the container inside here. Okay, and then actually that's good. That's it. And in the inside of here, we're going to have just a paragraph with our with our copyright. I'm just going to say HTML5. Photo gallery, uh, and we'll put a copyright. 
2014. All right, so that's good. That's basically the, the main interface. Uh, like I said, the, the navigation is going to get generated through our jQuery. So, and this is a single uh, a spa or a single page app. We're not going to have any other HTML files. It's going to be all in that one file. Um, so that's really it for, for this section. I just want to get our markup in there. Um, in the next section, we'll actually style it, make it look like this. And then we'll move on to implementing quicksand and then fancy box. And we should be all set.